Yeah, you see what Deaf and Deer? Deaf and Yeah, Deaf and Deer. Pew pew pew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know how to say it. David Deer. David Deer. Pew pew pew. Okay. Hi, Reaperland. What's up? I'm Brother Dave, not ordained. I'm John. And we're joined in the studio by our spiritual advisor, the disembodied voice of Justin. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is Reaperland. It's our weekly community show. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Get all your friends in here. It's a blast. Friday's always really fun. Uh, I know we've been calling it... We used to do this show on Mondays. Yeah. Or during the Kickstarter, Chase we did the it every day. Chase the blues away, yeah. Uh, but now it's every Friday. Uh, and Dave actually came up with a really cool name last week called Feel Good Fridays. Yeah. So, feel good. Feel good. So today, <laughs> feel good. Feel good. I, I want everybody in chat to put Dave's head and put feel good <laughs> next to it. I'm going to have to get the sound bite for that Muse song. You know, feel <laughs> oh, yeah. good when they covered it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're going to be matching all gifted subs. Everybody knows the trick. Yeah. Um, gifting, gifting all subs. Matching all gifted subs with a minimum of 25. So get those gift subs in. Yeah. Twistorama. Hello. Everybody's here. There you go. Yeah, see, look. Feel good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, I hope everybody had a good week. I guess most of the country's in uh, storms. Oh, yeah. Snow and ice and everything mm -hmm. else. We yeah. just, everybody was saying that it was going to snow here on Wednesday, but it was just kind of a little sleet. And that yeah. was about it. Uh, Not bad. Certain parts got snow. Yeah. Uh, both of you need to do the Rotting Man. Valandar <laughs> actually did it. Uh, uh, you already did it. I mm -hmm. saw the video. I posted yeah. it on uh, Facebook, on our Facebook page. And, and there was a video of me watching him do it, so that <laughs> counts for something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day. There's been a... Busy week. I say that every week. It's always really busy. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's, as I call it, running around with your hair on fire at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> Wouldn't mean. your hair not be on fire at that point, though? You yeah. see how much hair I have? Yeah. See? Uh, That's why everybody here is kind of balding. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah. See? Mm -hmm. um, All right. Needs so, a Ronnie Man emoji. We do. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Can they? Can those be animated or no? The uh, there are third-party mm -hmm. third plugins that animate your emojis if you want them to. Mm. That's its own undertaking. But that's its own thing. That's not yeah, something correct. we can do. No, that's not yeah. built into Twitch. Thanks, Motor City Ray. Yeah. It's um, so weird calling him Motor City Ray. We have a, I agree. <laughs> yeah. We have a whole slew of emotes because people have had a lot of good ideas yeah. that I'm going to be bringing in, but it takes time. Yeah, so. yeah. Trasharama, if he's in chat, he's been a, he, he's been a big spearhead. Yeah. Yes, he has. He's been helpful. Uh, yeah. He made the trebuchet emote. Uh, I don't, it's oh, not really? in chat. I haven't seen it, that. Yeah. We use it in Discord. Uh, oh. Speaking of emotes. Speaking of that, yeah, yeah, good segue. way, but I need help with the Discord because apparently I'm only friends with the, the drummer Phil Collins. Oh, okay, we got you. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you out after the show. Okay. Um, we, use, I, we use the emotes on our Discord all the time. Uh, Trashrama imported all of the emotes over to our Discord, so mm -hmm. now we can use your face, my face, Justin's oh. face. Uh, the trebuchet, the, all of our emotes that we have in, in, in chat, we mm -hmm. can use on our Discord. There, there's a couple that aren't over there, and that's because they're like the older ones that we mm -hmm. put in. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's because the original files for those seem to be missing somewhere. Like Sophie Hyde still, and things like that. I'm still trying to find them. Thanks, Maharoon. Yeah, thank you for the raid. Thanks. Um, I know she, she's been painting a lot recently. Uh, she's one of our sponsored streamers. Or no, she's not sponsored, but you know, Maharoon is a streamer. She's the one who did the... Um, Remember all the pictures that I showed you of all the paper with all the paint dots on it? Yeah. So you could see what it looks like when it's dried? Yeah. She's the one who did that. Oh, okay. Thanks, Maharoon. Um, who is Boo Boo Face? That is know. Justin. He's behind the camera. No, I think he was he was telling you. It's like Jeopardy. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the answer to, uh, you know. <laughs> you see what Buglips said? He said he's going to send you a friend request on Discord. You okay. You guys can hang out. All right. Uh, Bug Lips Fair is enough. A, Bug Lips is a moderator on our Discord. Yeah. Um, so if anything goes wrong, just tag him. Uh, and blame him for it. There oh, you go. Maharoon is sponsored. Oh, she is. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just recently. Okay, that's a, that's probably what I missed. So, thanks, Maharoon. Welcome. Uh, on annulled forty two. Uh, you won't uh. you won't hear back from the email. Um, we <coughs> bless you, bless you, mm. Dave. Bless you. Um, and since we're all, we'll probably tell everyone this. Uh, basically kind of what's going on behind the scenes here justin does nothing yeah yeah i do absolutely nothing and i just i get roll my eyes at every email i get yeah um, but <laughs> he no. comes up with excuses like he's busy I'm busy <laughs> <laughs> so anyway dave uh we uh so all you're gonna get is an autoresponder but we don't if you submit something like that 
you're either your next thing will be the autoresponder, and then after that will be either a shipping notification, or in this case, you'll get a Reaper notification. Thanks, Vaxar. Um, thank you, Vaxar. A Reaper notification, knowing that you got your gift card. Mm-hmm. Assuming that's what that's for. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That's so that's what it is. You won't you won't get an actual email written back. We don't have enough people for that. That's <laughs> jeez. You know. Yeah. You know. So that's a lot of time to do that. Holy crap! Is it? I, I receive about hundred emails a day. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, Scott Beal. Justin pulls in those large paychecks and does nothing for him. <laughs> He's definitely a one percenter. So one keep that in mind. Yes. Somebody was asking about tours for ReaperCon. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be posting the official, you know, schedule for everything at ReaperCon as we get closer. But normally we do about three a day. Yeah. Uh, and the schedule might change uh, for timing. I don't know if it's going to be the same as last year. I'm assuming it will be. Um, yes. But it could change from here to then. We're going to work out a new, a possible a new plan. Yeah, a new plan. Um, because there was a problem from the, the midday tour or mid afternoon mm-hmm. tours trying to get people back for their classes yeah. uh, on for the and right before the final tour. So mm-hmm. we're coming up with an alternate for the middle plan right now. Yeah. And these are your tour, tour guides right here. Yeah. yeah. And possibly another. We're trying yeah. to recruit where? some of our other employees. Where? Where are they? <laughs> where? We're at Reaperland. That's where we're at. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Don't um, you know? My God, are you already going senile? <laughs> uh, for people who don't, uh, for people who weren't here last week, or if you were here last week, that's even better. Uh, get all your friends here, it's fun. Uh, last week we told the story about the Death Monk. Yeah, um, yeah. Cassius and his gargoyle. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we came up with that whole story, and we came up with the story on our Discord. So if you guys haven't joined our Discord, I'll actually put the command in chat right now. Um, <laughs> go over there and join it. We're about to hit 700 members. So, And there's pretty much 200 people that are on there all day that are active at any time. Uh, we have all kinds of different channels. But that's where we came up with that story. And last week, one of our moderators, Planar Crossroads, mm-hmm. uh, she came up with two stat blocks for 5th fi- edition. If you guys play 5e and want to use those in your, in your game, we came up with uh, stat blocks for them. And they're in the pinned comments in the RPG section of our Discord. Oh, cool. So they're really cool. They're yeah. really, uh, really long, and they have all the stats and everything. Oh, well, thank you, Planar. You, you might get a little bit of lag. I'm trying to uh, convert a PDF, guys. Sorry. Ah. Oh, the old PDF excuse. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's gonna we're gonna have some frame dips, guys. It's fine. You can still hear John. That's all that matters. Apparently, wow. also I keep, been... as I keep moving my head, it it yeah. We, we may need a second <laughs> computer to do like work on while we stream. That yeah, may be uh, possible. Apparently, Twitch has been having issues all day with other oh, people's Twitch. That channels. that too on top of this, but I'll tell you right now, this problem is hundred percent me. Okay. I, I am causing this. So, so go ahead, John. Ju- you heard it here first. He's causing all of Twitch to uh, have lag. That's an impressive th- uh, problem to I know. Shoulder. I mean, man, do you have the ego of the century over there? Well, I, I will take it, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of lag people are saying. So So anyway, the uh, stats and uh, Discord. Yes, so the two stat blocks are in Discord, uh, and she's working on some more stat blocks as well. Uh, so I've been uh, doing stories every Monday, kind of, little backstories, and this week I did the, the Stitch Golems. Mm-hmm. And I came, we came up with a little backstory with the Stitch Golems and how they got made and everything like that for our gallery showcase. And she's working on stat blocks for those. Oh, so, very cool. If you guys ever need anything, ideas for your RPG games and things like that, there's plenty of people over there on the Discord that will help you come up with some stuff. Yeah, it should be fixed now. Ah, there we go. I thought we blamed Bug Lips. That's right. Bug Lips, oh. our internet's d- dipping. Oh. <laughs> Sarducci, two computers. Well, la dee da, 1% Justin. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Actually, most big name streamers have multiple computers one to stream from, one to capture, one to work on. Yeah. They also yeah. have like nine monitors. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, what is it? D- uh, Diford? Stir the crowd, tanks. Yeah, Justin. stir the crowd. Uh, I just stirred them. They should be working. How's your frequencies? Uh, they're, 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 I adjusted the resonance. We're good. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Hey, <laughs> we paint minis. Uh, are you the same one that's we paint minis on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff? I don't know if you're the same one. No, that's that's we paint minis' his brother. We paint uh, mini. We paint mini. Yeah. 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 Uh, they have their own hashtag. We paint minis. Hey, Tazalanch has an old 386 that he's he's willing to donate. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> perfect. I can do... Will those even run Excel docs? I don't even... No. No, they won't. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the updates that happened this yeah. week or the, right. the catch-up on our Twitch channel. So on our Twitch channel, the thing that happened... Oh, it is. We Paint Mini. Awesome. I'm glad I recognized that name. Mm. Uh, so on Monday, we did Miniature Monday with Josh Davis from Miniature Painting Studio or and Mini was, Painting Studio. And he did the, um, the uh, Gollum. The Ice Gollum. Ice Gollum. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he did the glo- he did the ice golem, and for the future, we know that people were having issues with the gloss varnish and all mm-hmm. that stuff. We're trying to figure out ways to kind of do things in the future to help you guys. And yeah. We're going to be doing some YouTube videos and prepping and all that stuff, so stay tuned for that. On Tuesday, 
we did Terrain Tuesday, but it was canceled this week. Yeah. Uh, Ed was recovering from surgery. Ed uh, actually has a kidney stone that he's been battling for years, mm -hmm. and I do mean years. <laughs> and uh, after two sound, whatever the, where they do the shock sound yeah. waves, mm -hmm. that got rid of some of it, but not all of it. And mm -hmm. so finally in the third time, it's like, let's just go in with a laser. Ouch. They, so They used paddles on his yeah. kidney? Clear. Yeah, they, yeah they, well, they have sound that they shoot yeah. through, oh, and the okay. sound waves bust up. up. But yeah, you have to be, like, knocked out for the sound waves. So this is what happens when you uh, when you roll a natural twenty when you're trying to urinate, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So right now he's. I mean a natural one. He's still in a little <laughs> bit discomfort, but yeah, he uh, he's he's uh, he's getting better. We should see Terrain Tuesday back next Tuesday. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yes. Uh, and and you guys ran a rerun of the terrain of the trebuchet. Is that what we did? Uh, I, yes, I set up a rerun to run. I didn't check to see if it actually worked. Oh, okay. So it worked. Oh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, also, Anne started doing NMM this week, which is non-metallic medals. Right. Uh, she did the silver non-metallic medals. I believe Tuesday she started with a sword. Mm. Uh, and she did part two on Wednesday in the morning, and I believe it was uh, the armor part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really cool. It, we did a whole week of NMM, pretty much. Uh, I think on Thursday she did chainmail as well. So <laughs> That's true. We need to fling the kidneys down. Ah. <laughs> Bug Lips wants to put in a bid for it. <laughs> uh, everybody that's just joining, if you guys are looking for the uh, Bones 5 update show, it'll mm -hmm. be happening after this show. After uh, this, yeah, Ron is going, I'm going to leave, and Ron is going to come in and give the official and, update. Yeah. And we're going to have about, he said five to fit. It's really dependent on me and how I can get the stuff in there. Yeah. Right. He has to give me assets, so we'll be because five to ten minutes. Before we know, so. because Ron needs girls to throw rose petals in yes. front of him. and you His know. rider is still being fulfilled. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to go down for a little bit. Maybe we'll have like a stream starting timer or something like that uh, while we get everything started going. The stream itself is going to come down until I get the assets on, and then we'll have a timer, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so just stay tuned for that. Um, and then on Thursday, we had Painting Platinum. She started with the Layer Up kit that we sell, the yeah. Layer Up kit. Uh, yeah, I saw that logo. Off. That was a good... Justin, did you do that? Uh, uh, the fibers, right? Yes, correct. It was... Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Painting Platinum? Yeah. yeah. Yes, that was the... No, no, that was the one we got done... Actually, that's that's who I use for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Ron really liked it. Actually, um, yeah, it was Sa good. Sadie good. Sadie didn't really like it. She didn't so look. she's doing her own, but she's not certain whether or not she's going to actually like give it to us to use yet. So we'll see. If it changes, that's why. Just yeah. so you're aware. Okay. Uh, show us the boat. Someone said you guys have to f wait. Just stay tuned. Uh, we got to stay here for another hour or so until the yeah. show starts. Yeah. Then you get <laughs> to see John's boomstick over there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Captain so, so, to speak. So, so to speak. So to speak. So to speak. Yeah. Any plans to show basing tutorial? That'd be pretty cool. That's a good idea. If you, if, also, if you have any ideas, uh, yeah, that's a share good them. Tuesday at Terrain Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you follow us on the Discord, we have a whole question a question section for our Twitch shows. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions for our Twitch shows, all the questions will we pull questions from our Discord uh, as well. So if you guys are in there, I'm just trying to push the Discord because it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's really active and really fun. There's people in there all the time. There's a bunch of different sections that you can hop around. So it's really fun. Um, and apparently Phil Collins, I'm, I'm friends with Phil Collins, didn't even know it. So <laughs> uh, So yeah, where was I? Where was I? Oh, Friday. And Friday. it brings us today. Reaperland. What happens on Friday? Reaperland. The best show <laughs> of the week. <laughs> the only show. The only show. <laughs> um, and then we have the Bones 5 Live afterwards. After our show. With Ronald Hawkins. Yeah. Um... Death, I talked about the Death Monk stat, Death Monk stat block, mm -hmm. so if you guys are curious about that. I know a lot of people really gave me a lot of good feedback about the story last week. That was that was a cool story. I like that. So, yeah. thanks guys for helping come up with that story. Mm -hmm. uh, it was all community driven, all community based. Uh, I think Justin might have a JPEG ready. I'm still working on it. Oh, he's still working on it. The hamsters, <laughs> I, listen, I'm whipping the hell out of them. But <laughs> they, are, they started biting me and hissing at me. They don't like it. Okay, well, they'll, they'll be coming soon. Uh, what is that? to Sardushi, what you do is you actually take pieces of the boat <laughs> and you, you bring it in a bag and you kind of put it in your closet and then later on you bring it out and put it together and they go, hey, wait a minute, is that something new? And you goes, no, I've had it in the closet for a while. Yeah. Now, Sarducci, <laughs> uh, have you considered making the pirate ship smaller uh, to hide from his wife? Uh, that's what Dave was just talking about. But maybe get the Brindwin Extras expansion, the one that comes with the tiny boat, yeah. and say that's the boat. Oh, and, there you go. You know, yeah. There you go. That's why it comes in clear. clear. <laughs> <laughs> what boat? <laughs> yeah, what boat? <laughs> That's a good idea. 
Uh, see if there's any other questions while Justin's getting stuff ready. I don't oh. want to. I don't want to make him put other pictures yeah. up while he's doing other what stuff. What about ah, the, uh, ah, the I got pledge? It. There it is. Ah. ah, there it is. So if you guys were curious about the stat block, this is for the uh, Death Monk that we showed off last week. Mm -hmm. uh, and look, look at this. It, wow. has, it has everything. Uh, right. Special abilities. It's kind of kind of tiny there, but you know. Yeah. It, it you guys is. can see but that. But it looks impressive when it's that tiny. It has its armor class, its speed, its hit points. It has all the stats you need. All of its magic resistances, its special abilities. Uh, very cool. Oh, wow. So thanks, Planar Crossroads. I don't yeah. know if she's watching, but thank you so much. Her and a friend actually helped with this. Uh, and there's also, I don't know if you have the other one. I do. Oh, you do? Wow. I mean, listen, I pissed the hamsters off, but I got <laughs> it. Um, there he goes, covering me up again. <laughs> ah. There we go. All right, there you go. And this is Cassian's Gargoyle. So This, this is after the, the, the conversion. Yes. Yeah. So this was uh, whenever he was the monk, and mm -hmm. then he became the death monk, and then he animated a gargoyle. Uh, and so this is the gargoyle's stat block. Um, oh. So one of my favorite things about this is that he has an ability called guard. Mm -hmm. So if he's near Cassian, mm -hmm. he can like kind of protect the monk. It's like a guardian. Oh, So cool. it's like yeah. it has a special ability to kind of guard Cassian. Um, yes, yeah, so VO, this, all the stat blocks are on our Discord. Yeah. So I can I can maybe post a, them on the as forums. PDFs, right? Yeah, as PDFs. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the Discord, you should be able to download them, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, that's how I got them to you. I downloaded them off of the Discord. Rings Raccoon wanted to know if he resubs. Does it does his uh, does it count towards the uh, matching subs? Uh, no, it has to be gifted subs. Gifted there you subs. go. Correct. Yeah. And 250 bits count as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know what? We'll go with that. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Good. Call. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Um, but yes. So, hey Baz, uh, I saw you in another chat, another streamer's chat earlier today. Mm -mm. But those are the PDFs, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're gonna, uh, she's working on some more, so, you know, if you guys really care about that stuff, jump yeah. in on the Discord. Yeah, absolutely, tell mm -hmm. us. Uh, Dr. Bob wants to know a stat block for Ed, Ron, oh, myself, and you. All of us? Yeah. Uh, maybe. We can probably get some people to do that. I need the, I need the special ability of avoiding work. That's mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, so yeah, those are the PDFs. It's very cool. So thanks, Justin, for get those JPEGs. Um, <laughs> so don't, don't that's thank a, me. Thanks the hamsters. That's a good segue into this next kind of portion. Yeah. Um, so we came up with kind of a new story this week. Okay. This one's a little bit different. So Twitch chat is going to be able to choose. We have three different options, three different sections, paths that we can go down. Uh, Justin should have these pictures. Oh, oh hey, Grouse Yeti. Grouse Yeti. Thanks, Whoa. Graz. Oh, actually, thanks, Graz. That reminds me, I need to talk about something that you brought up earlier this week. <laughs> and Ron gets a plus five to dancing, so say of bug lips. Thanks, Graz Yeti. <laughs> plus five to dancing. <laughs> performance. He gets he gets an advantage on performance checks. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, the, the witches. The witches. Yeah. So, Justin, you should have the three images of the witches. Uh, it was in an email I sent you with the four images. Let me see here. Was it the stories? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so let me open a new window here. You can actually give me the names. Yes. Right, that correspond, so. Yeah. You can pull up all three witches. I mean, I have it in the actual stories folder, so you're going to give me the name and I'll pull it out of the folder. Okay. Uh, Let's see. With other pictures. Dancing. Uh, we need a dancing Ron Wombat. Okay. A Wombat. <laughs> a Ron, I can't. A that Ron was bat. last night, yeah. Let me find my email. Sorry, guys. Sent. Hey, John has one of the special pins. Yes, Dr. Bob. Uh, so do I, except Ron, uh, Justin keeps covering me up. Okay, I got the story. Oh, uh, they, they can't see that. They can't? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay. No. So the first one we're going to show off is Hecatina, a miniature painting studio. Lucasia is the picture. Okay. Bam. Yeah. Bam. There we go. So you could probably put them all on the bottom of the screen. They can't see that either, Dave. They can't. Oh, they can't see no, they, they can't. No, they, they can't see that you've been covered up. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, you're, I think you're. I think you're pulling the. No, the I would never Justin, do that. You're gonna put all three on the picture, on the screen. All three. Yes. All three. So this is gonna, the next one's gonna be the. So that Josh. means you gotta cover up yourself, John, and myself. Put them on the have, bottom. I don't have Dave for this. Uh, which was the other one? Uh, Josh Gifford Elf One. Okay, and then what else? Uh, the last one is Trade Discord Witch. Uh, okay, let me get this one adjusted. Real quick. Okay. There and we go. I'll move them again once yeah, yeah, yeah. they're up. Yeah, I should look so good as that paint job. Yeah, uh, oh. Wow, yeah, that's Woo! A big picture. in your face. Boom! <laughs> so, yeah. So these were all painted by three members of our community. Okay. Uh, all of these stories that we come up with on our Discord are mm -hmm. featuring paint jobs from our community. Okay. Uh, and so this is 
Trey on Discord, Josh Gifford on Facebook, and Hecatina Miniature Painting Studios on Facebook. Do you know which one's which? Yes. Oh, okay. So the bottom one is the mm -hmm. Hecatina Miniature Painting Studio. Mm -hmm. The top left is Josh Gifford, and then Trey is the top right. Oh, nice. Uh, and these They're are all, all Reaper awesome Minis. paint jobs, yeah. These are all Reaper Miniatures. And so this week's story revolves around these three models. Um, so I'm going to let chat decide. So the, the basic premise is, is maybe you come to a new town mm -hmm. uh, and you come across a coven of witches. And these are the three witches. That, these are three witches that are a part of the coven. Okay. There is Devandra, the grave tender, which is the top, the top left. Mm -hmm. We have Latria Wazergeist, the servant of water, which is the... I'm sorry, that's the top left. Okay. Grave yeah, tender is bottom left. Grave tender is bottom left. Lucesia is her name. The bottom. And then, mm -hmm. Okay. And then Nara Dasky, mm -hmm. which is the mistress of herbs and plants, which is the top, top right. Top right. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And so now you guys get to choose. Each one has a quest for you. And now I want chat to, to do, um, let's do one, two, and three. <laughs> you know, and we'll just, we'll just gauge chat. So one, two, three. Left, right, bottom. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, just like you would read a book. Mm -hmm. um, so if whichever one you guys want to follow, mm -hmm. we'll read that story. And it also has another miniature that goes with it. Oh, okay. So they get to vote now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just type in chat one, two, or three. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll go with that witch. Yes. Three there's, people are saying. Wow. There's a fair cop, Tazalanche. Wow. A lot of threes <laughs> right away. Wow. There's like a growing <laughs> amount of threes. Wow. Crazy. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's three. I don't uh, know. Go ahead and type your, type your answer again. I actually yeah. made a poll. We made a poll in chat, so. Type it again. Type your numbers again. We have to, yeah, recount. Sorry about that. I didn't tell Justin that we were doing this. Burn before. him at the stake. That's my fault. Burn him. <laughs> <laughs> Burn them all. Yeah, it was a, that was a great movie. Hey, Asmodeus Soul Pirate actually helped with the story. So oh, yeah? Thanks, Asma. Yeah. Which witch is which? Yeah, that's right. Which witch? Mmm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Man, Justin, quick with the editing here. I'm trying. Actually, the, the hamsters really are pissed off today. <laughs> Sorry. I, I really don't know why. They're, uh, they're so just being angry. I figured that this would be a cool kind of divergent from last week. Because last yeah. week I just gave a backstory. And story a, you and You know, everything. something that yeah. you could use in your own game. Uh, this one now, you, will these you stories use. continue or will, next week we'll have a new story? Maybe. Oh, I haven't decided okay. yet. We'll see what chat thinks. What do you guys oh, think? Oh, I'm two. Oh, <laughs> no. I was two. Now John's two. It is, it is really frustrating right now. Look at that. Oh, man. Oof. It's yes. just arguing. Right, Dr. Me. Bob. The Iowa caucuses there we, strike again. There we uh -oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, we're distinctly more organized. <laughs> yeah. If only a little bit. <laughs> At failure imminent. <laughs> yes. And so obviously number three there, but we'll get Justin to uh, mm -hmm. uh, get the number there. Uh, I know Holly Monster was painting the pizza dragon this week. Uh, as people were talking in mm -hmm. chat, Al Beavis in, and chat said that they talked about the Pizza Dragon this morning on Mike Disney's stream. Oh, did they? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, I was asleep. The Pizza Dragon <laughs> actually came out last week as yeah. a part of the Metal New Release. So we'll give it like another minute. It looks like three is going to win over here from Absolutely, from Dr. Bob. I am the ultimate number two. <laughs> Dave is number two. Not professionals. All right. So, so far, so we have number one, which is... Uh, Latria Wazergeist, the servant of water. Mm -hmm. uh, number, number two one. is yeah. Nara Dasky, mistress of herbs and plants. And then number three is Devandra Lucesia, grave tender. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the name. Tender of graves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is old home week there. Uh, uh, and this is going, who does number two work for? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. My Kickstarter party minutes were delayed. Won't arrive until Monday. Sorry, Taz. Uh, sorry, Taz. Mm. All right. So, what do you think, Justin? You, you tell us the what, what won. Thanks, Planner Crossroads. Yes. We thank have. You. Uh, well, here's the thing. There's only 57 votes, but there's 155 people in chat. Ah. So uh, let's get a little more uh, participation, okay. here, guys. So re redo it. If you if you like number one. Then put number one in chat. If you like number two, put number two. And if you like number three, put number three. Come on, you lurkers. I know that yeah. you guys like to lurk. Just come out and give us yeah. one number. Lurkers. So you, you can and then you can go back and yeah. lurk you can and scur be invisible. Scurry back to your hole. <laughs> mm. Remember, this is Feel Good Friday, so we're matching all gifted subs today. Uh, even two, 250 bits equals one sub, so we'll match that as well. Is it 250? 250 bits. Yeah. Bits, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, don't do like I did when I first There's started out with bits. Oh, I'll just give them $5. What do you mean I gave them 50 
Hey, Rainbow Sculptor. Yeah, these paint jobs, I, I've been trying to come up with stories by looking at all the paint jobs that I have. And I was like looking earlier today and I was like, hmm, maybe these, I saw two witches and I was like, maybe I can find a third one. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was pretty cool. And we came up with like the whole story about the coven of witches and, you know, maybe they're in a small port city. Yeah. Near a port city or something like that. Rainbow Sculptor's here. Mm -hmm. Which uh, one did you like, Rainbow Sculptor? I love the, my, well, my favorite paint job of these three is the number three. Mm -hmm. um, Lucasia. Uh, I like this model a lot. Uh, normally she has a shovel mm -hmm. in her left hand, uh, but he they they augmented this to take the shovel away. I'm liking I'm liking I like what number one there with the paint mm -hmm. job, but I also like the setting in number two. Yeah, the, the setting uh, looks good. The setting, yeah, the background photo and the painting and everything else. Yeah. I like the shading on yeah. number two with yeah. all the, the the darkness of the robes and everything. Um. Well, yeah. Justin. Yeah. All right. Which one, Justin? Just come on, come on, Iowa. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, we know, well, the votes technically are still coming in. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on. I think it just stopped. Okay. We're, we're at 80 votes now. So I guess that's, I'll take that participation. I guess. Yeah. No, nope, it's, it's still being counted. All right. Uh, well. um, but it looks like. Number uh, three. Make a call. By a commanding lead, number three. All right. Number, number three. three. There we go. All right. Um, Congratulations, number three. Yeah. So number three, which is the Grape Tinder. All right. So this one has a few different kind of prompts for it. Um, I'll start with the first one. Yeah. It says, a local family found the skull of their great grandfather while cleaning out their farm, and ever since that day, there was there has been some strangeness: stubbed toes, jammed fingers, things falling off of shelves, and weird dreams that the family was having. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, in order to seek what was happening, they brought it to uh, Devandra to see what she could do. Okay. Uh, and so she she enlisted. She's going to enlist our help to try to go and track down what happened to this individual, the grandfather. Right. Um, and, and so that's where the quest is, starts. Is out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where the quest starts. Why the skull is kind of cursed and mm -hmm. why it brings bad luck. Uh, and so that's where the story started. Um, and then the other one was um, maybe, I think that we discussed about a paladin who was like very wrought with honor mm -hmm. uh, and he was being buried at her grave, the, at her grave tender. And he was so bound by duty and maybe he died protecting somebody that he loved uh, and it, he got rosen up as a like a golem like a cemetery golem so as to protect all the other graves around him oh so okay. he became like the protector of the graveyard yeah uh, and that's kind of the other story that we mm -hmm. went with so and then so you could you could take this prompt with this mini and all this other stuff mm -hmm. you can add it to your game with your story about Maybe you, you've tracked down where the skull came from or what happened in the past and all that stuff. And it can create a whole another little train of... Sounds like the beginning of a paranormal investigation. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. No, I love that's it. cool. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to join in on all those prompts, we've been so doing all So do they get to add week. to the story or is that... Is that... Uh, right now that's what we have. But okay. if we want to keep going, we can. Mm. Uh, it all determines on what you guys decide on the Discord. Okay. <laughs> so... We've been doing it a lot. Uh, it's been really kind of a cathartic, mm -hmm. I guess, because I'll post pictures and then we'll just come up with a backstory and a prompt, and then you know it's all back and forth with everybody that's in the Discord. Yeah. So it's like I like this, or maybe we can take this part of your story and then kind of add it to this, and then we kind of stitch it all together. So, but all three paint jobs are amazing, and I wanted to use all three. Uh, this yeah, also helps no. me tie in the paint jobs that we have, we've been showing off with little stories and backstories, so you guys can maybe plug them into your game whenever you need to or mm -hmm. things like that. So. Like the whole monk last week uh, with the stat block and everything, maybe you come across a little monastery in the woods, and then boom, you got you got a little encounter there. Exactly. So, uh, oh, whoa! Thank you, Sal Salazar, Salazar with Salazar. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, let's see, Doctor Bob. So Ron has the dance of death. <laughs> Ed has the story sleep. John's beard seduces strangers. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. And what about Dave? Uh, Expeditious mm. escape from labor. Usually, yeah, yeah I walk around with a clipboard looking all official. Number crunching. Number crunching, counting beans. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of Graz, Eddie, <laughs> since Graz is in mass. here, um, I was talking to Graz. We were talking the other day about on the Discord, actually. I keep talking about the Discord because that's where a lot mm -hmm. of the stuff happens. Right. But Graz was on there the other day and he was talking about how he's really enjoyed the Twitch streams mm -hmm. because. You know, we do Reapercon, and it's like four days of like fun and everybody hanging out and classes and all this stuff, and then it's over. Yeah. And then you go back home and, 
you know, you're painting and you're doing your normal You're all stuff. hyped for you. It's the yeah. convention hype, as I call it, is you get back and you're like, next year, next year I'm yeah. going to do this, 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 this. Yeah. But before the Twitch stuff, you just had to wait a whole year to yeah. see or talk to people on the forums or on social media. And hang out with, yeah, your friends that you see at the show. Yeah. But now we have all these Twitch streams, so I never even thought about it that way. Mm -hmm. Like about, it's it's kind of alleviating the Repercon Withdrawal kind downside, of, yeah, you know? yeah. So now you guys can see us, you know, see everybody all year, and you're like in chat talking mm -hmm. and on the Discord and everything. And I'd like to meet all the people in chat. Yeah, it's gonna be like fun. you have to put that on the name or something. Have an area on the badge where you can write your. Yes, we're gonna have Twitch a big. Name. We're gonna have a big blank spot on the bottom of the badge, so you mm -hmm. guys can write your Twitch name and your forum names and all that stuff on there. Yeah. Um, and I've met a lot of cool people that have come by the shop that are locals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, got OMG to meet sticks. them, yeah, uh, Forever Night. Uh, Swillow. Swillow, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Knots and Stitches, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trasharama came by. Trasharama came by. But he's not local, but he came by. But still, yeah, mm -hmm. when you come by. Um, but I... Oh, I, the I, gentleman I, yesterday. What was... Uh, Justin? The gentleman yesterday, do you remember his name? His uh, Twitch name? What, what, Last what? week, you mean? Yeah. OMG Sticks. OMG Sticks. Yeah, you're talking about Brad. I was about to say yesterday. I was like, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I meant last week. No one was here yesterday that I know of. <laughs> yeah, no. But yes, Brad is hanging out in the uh, chat. Um, but I, I just, you know, it kind of opened up my mind a little bit because I didn't think of the Twitch streams like that. Yeah. And it kind of brought a new perspective of, you know, how good they are. So I thought it was very cool, and I thought yeah. I just wanted to talk about it with everybody. I think, yeah, a lot of people also, when you put it on your badge, you'll mm -hmm. be able to meet other people that mm -hmm. you've met in the chat and never actually got to meet them when they're yeah. at Reaper Guns. So, I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. Uh, I'm so excited for next year. Um, so it's going to be kind of a, it's going to be kind of overwhelming for me, I think. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah. It's overwhelming every year. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna Adrian be does a wonderful job at putting it together. I am moving to Texas in less than two months, and Reaper will be one of my first stops. Hey! Wow! Excellent! Awesome! Reaper's my addiction. We had uh, we had one employee that uh, he was moving his family down from Illinois, mm. and before he'd even got to their house that they were going to unpack, he took his family uh, by Reaper mm. to come by and see the shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see if I have I have a bunch of stuff. So Feel Good Friday, we're matching all. There's not some stitches. She's lurking. Yeah. Yeah. Reaper pins for ball caps. Oh! Um, oh! Pins. Oh, like this to yeah. put on your caps. Uh, maybe. I know some streamers have their own and stuff like that, so... First stop should be Rudy's Barbecue. <laughs> uh, that's where we went during the, the Kickstarter party. Yeah. All, all the Twitch streamers went out and had barbecue. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we sat at a big round table and oh. we, all that stuff. Um, yeah, Rudy's is pretty good. I like them. Mm -hmm. uh, new internet wall. Oh, I, I write little notes on my computer here so I can remember what... Not me. About. I'm, I'm doing the boomer <laughs> pad and paper. Uh, <laughs> Bragboard stuff. Yes. Um, so didn't you film a video? I'm about to. Oh, okay. uh, I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm going to refilm it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be posting it later. Um, but I'm going to be talking about the brag board a lot more because um, we have a bunch of stuff that we've been saving for months and months and months, uh, and I'm trying to decide what to do with it. And one of my ideas is that I want to take all of them and kind of put them on the walls, like maybe make a wallpaper. Yeah. Or, or just kind of just hang them all. And I want a big wall where we can just post all of them. Uh, that way we can collect them over time and then mm -hmm. fill up the wall. So I think that would be really fun. And I know we make a, an effort to go down and read them and actually yeah. initial them that we have read them. Uh, I know we're not doing the uh, joke-offs anymore on mm -hmm. Reaper Live, but some they keep sending in yeah, jokes, and they're great jokes. I mean, I love them. I, do, I love it, because uh, when I walk by to go get a water, I'll mm -hmm. see that you, you, you've read it. They'll yeah. say uh, Dave P or DP, yeah. and then I'll write J-O if I read it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just write on the little corner there. But we've been keeping them, and I'm really excited to do something with them because we have a lot, um, and I just want to showcase it more. Yeah. Because I want more people to write in and stuff, and I, I just want to see a big wall full of it. So it's exciting. Wichita Falls area. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, sticks. OMG sticks. OMG sticks. I used to live in Wichita Falls. In fact, where, that's mm -hmm. where I went to college. The good old panhandle, as we call it. <laughs> I don't think that's quite the panhandle. That's, yeah, it's, it's close. It's up there. It's up there. Yeah, it's, it's close to the Oklahoma border. Yeah, it's close. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Anything okay. west of the Metroplex. Is that how we're doing this? That's okay. how we're doing it. <laughs> so if it's not the Metroplex, it's the panhandle, guys. Yeah. yeah. It's a panhandle. Uh, Dr. Bob, no. There are no more joke-offs. At least between Ron and I. Mm -hmm. So, sorry. But if you got a great joke, I'd love to hear it. I like jokes. Hey, V Woot. Uh, so, you want to start talking about some paint jobs here? Yeah. Also, uh, the uh, the Australian fundraiser. Oh, yeah. 
Go ahead. Oh, uh, as of the start of the show, we are up to $25,575 going to the mm -hmm. fund. I know Ed made a donation last night, and they put it up on Reaper Live last night. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going through the end of February, and now that we've surpassed our first goal of $25,000, uh, the new goal is $30,000. So thank you very much. It's mm -hmm. all because of you guys. Yeah. Um, I saw some people asking, why don't you just keep the minis up forever and then just make donations, you know, once a year or something like that, even if it's only like $100 or something like that. It's still, the animals are still going to need that money. That's true. Uh, we, and we have talked about that, but no yeah. decision has come uh, as far as yeah. the final decision. I was, I, I just say, I think that it, you know, we've done a bunch of fundraisers in the past. Mm -hmm. And once you start keeping track of all of them, then you need somebody to kind of monitor it and make sure that donations make sure it's go getting through. done. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to take money and then not not uh, give it away. And let it get fall through the cracks and right. things like that. Uh, plus, you know, the animals really needed the money right away because of all the fires and stuff that were happening. So if you make it kind of like a window, mm -hmm. I feel like it'll raise. And you know, it's a little not that we more, can't you know? uh, do another campaign later on. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we probably, right now, it's, it's probably going to come to an end, and then we can look at starting it up at again the, uh, in the future. I think we're landing towards the end of February, mm -hmm. I think, just to give it a little bit of time to breathe and everything like that. Um, but, you know, this that was really fast. It was like, oh, the fires are happening, and then you have to get it sculpted, and mm -hmm. then figure yeah. out where everything is yeah, going. Yeah, so. I mean, J uh, Jason just, just yeah. like, overnight just seemed to sculpt something, and then <laughs> it was like, John, make the molds! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was kind of a crazy, we needed to do it as fast as possible. That's why we did the initial 5,000 Yeah. Uh, to kind of get it rolling, because they needed the money right away, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I've yeah. been watching it. I've been trying to monitor it, so it's been fun. But it's all thanks to you guys. Yeah. Thank you so thanks. much. I can't wait to start seeing all your pictures for all your painted koalas. Mm -hmm. They've already started coming in. I've seen a few, like five of the Axe guy, the oh, Courage, yeah? um, and Hope. Hope has been really good. I've seen people painting her like uh, orange, like roby looking things. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. So just keep sending them. Tag us. Absolutely. Them so we got that. And you paint have jobs. some paint jobs. Paint yeah. job, paint job, we have paint a job. bunch of paint jobs. Okay. Uh, we'll never run out of paint jobs. So. That is, that is. Yeah, as long as you guys keep tagging us and sending them and sharing them, what I'll see them What about the work everywhere. desks? We haven't seen, we I have see a those. lot of those as well. <laughs> so, but I think the, the hobby desk will kind of run out uh, and then paint jobs will be on forever because yeah. that's our hobby. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. So do you want the newer stuff that you sent me or do you want the older stuff? Uh, let's go newer stuff because it's fresher on my mind. Uh, but we'll, we'll kind of go back through once, it's, once we're done. I have a whole backlog of stuff, so mm. don't worry. <laughs> Um, All right. Do you want to start somewhere or do you want me to just throw them out? Just start going. You know that's dangerous when you let them do yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, you just have to remind me of the names of who, what they're labeled as. All right. This is Arcane Paintworks Arcane Sorceress. Paintworks. Yeah. yeah. This is Arcane Paintworks. Uh, I like this one because of the blue. Yeah. Uh, they kind of did the uh, NMM reflecting right. the skirt. Right there on the sword. Yeah. yeah. I was just about to say. It's like and a, yeah, the, sh and the light, the, the eyes, very good eye work because mm -hmm. you can see you're looking off. Like, and, I'm and about to go and, yeah. I like the, the lighting on this one's really good because mm -hmm. you can see the little glare on her hair mm -hmm. and then it goes down to on the clo or on the, the dress or the, clo yeah. or the skirt. Uh, so it's like you see the little lighting. This was a very good paint job. <laughs> yeah. so. Did you? It's almost like the, the look the parent gives you. Did I just hear you say something? <laughs> it's like, what'd you say? That's what it kind of <laughs> yeah. looks like. It's like she's like. I, didn't, I just didn't hear that, did I? <laughs> it's like she like heard someone make a snide remark and yeah. then she's like drew her sword and looked. That's what it looks like to me. Um, so, yeah. Man, this this little lag in chat's a little bit throwing me off. <laughs> like chat's like eight seconds behind us, so yeah. Next one. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this one. Uh, who, who who did this one? Uh, Arcane Paintworks. Oh again. Oh, okay, this okay. is Arcane Paintworks again. It's a uh, barbarian conversion. Yeah, barbarian conversion is what I said. So this mm -hmm. is one of our minis. Um, Normally she has two maces, mm -hmm. so she has two maces in her hand. Right. But they converted it to axes, oh. uh, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. A little barbarian. Um, again, great. They're really good with their NMM. You can definitely tell by the axes. It looks almost exactly like the sword. Exactly, yeah. Same style. Not very good shading. Mm -hmm. You can see the rib cage and, and the muscle <laughs> and, the, and the knees and everything else. So, yeah. Very good shading. Also, yeah. base work is great on this one, too. Yeah. That's very good. I like this one. Just because conversions. I like it when people do really good conversions. Very good light work, arcane paint works. Or arcane miniature painting. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Can't go wrong with a paint pokey. Who did this one? Uh, this is Asmo Soulfire. Hey, hey. Asmodeus. Uh, he's in chat, actually, Asmo. Um, he's been... Uh, I, I, I've been trying to tag as many people as I could with yeah. the, as they paint their paint pokies. 
And what so. he's probably not telling you is that objects started moving in his house after he finished painting <laughs> oh, <yeah>. it. And <laughs> Stuff <laughs> falling off of the shelves. So there you go, Asmo. Looks pretty haunted. Mm -hmm. Same one. one. Same one. Oh, he painted it with like a UV kind of light. Oh. You know, glowing. Items definitely started moving in the house. The cabinet <laughs> started opening. You see the mouse start moving? And yeah. <laughs> as he's clearing his paint, the thing's talking to him. <laughs> Thanks, Asmo. Good job. Oh, this one is, uh, I, I left the thing at the top there. This mm -hmm. is the uh, Made at Craft, Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah. So they did a class, a miniature painting class. Mm. Uh, and they took a picture of their classes that they do. Uh, they oh. follow along on the video there with the Discord, yeah. Discord video. Um, oh, okay. And things like that. Oh, very so cool. I thought it was very cool. They're right down the, right down the road from us. Yeah. Um, they're um, neighbors. In Texas, they're neighbors. They're still a few hundred miles away. But I thought this for was Texas. Very, very cool picture. You know. Mad, mad Eat Craft. Mad Eat Craft. <laughs> yeah. Made at Craft. On, on, on Instagram, if you guys are curious. If you're in Austin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's so cute. Um, <laughs> uh, this one was a competition piece, actually. Uh, in a sort of, I'm going to grow up someday and kill you kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the uh, painted one of this? Or who, who did this one? This is Brush Wizard? Brush Wizard on uh, oh. Twitter. Oh, thank because, you, Calisandra. Hi, yeah. thanks, Callie. Uh, this was actually painted along with our Cthulhu, mm -hmm. our big one. Yeah. That was sculpted by Kevin Williams. Mm -hmm. um, but it was it was entered in as the same piece. So it had the little chibi version yeah. and the big version as the, as the same entry. Um, and it had the same uh, base, too, with the water yeah. coming up like that. Yeah. Um, very cool. This one, I like the eyes. The yeah. eyes are my favorite part because they're reflecting. They mm -hmm. look very glossy and shiny and reflective. Yeah, almost like they're uh, chrome. Yeah. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> Cthulhu. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Cthulhu. <laughs> So, uh, who was that again? Oh, Brush Wizard. That was Brush, Brush Wizard. Wizard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On on Twitter. Oh, this one's really cool. I wanted to talk about this so one. So there's a front and a back here. Yeah. Who so did this one? This was Ooh. Chad Pelletier. Yeah. Or P or Pelletier. Pelletier. Mm -hmm. I don't know. One of the two. I, Chad I'm not Pelletier. sure how it's pronounced. Uh, this oh, was on this good, was on their Facebook. A lot of good uh, lighting there on the armor. Yeah. And yeah. the sword. The sword, yeah. Yeah. This one is Anne was talking about this. I actually learned this on MMM. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on how your angle is blade or mm -hmm. however your blade is angled, right. uh, it would reflect different you yeah. know, how shiny it was. So this is kind of reflecting the sky. Yeah. So it's kind of reflecting the blue of the sky. Especially she was talking a lot. If you guys go back and watch our YouTube videos or the VODs on Twitch. For Anne's NMM, she would talked a lot about the angles of things, like spears pointing down mm -hmm. and swords like being held up or things like that. It would reflect different ways. So. I like the color choice there, the the bright uh, orange or red and yet gold <laughs> uh, uh, aggressive colors. Yes. Yeah, it contra it composes the the two, the blue and the red. You yeah, know, gold. very so well. It looks very yeah. Good. So who was this again? Oh, it's Chad, right? Uh, yes. Pelletier? Chad yeah. Pelletier. It's four, Sir awesome. Four Scale after three years of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> swole. Swole Scale. Sir Swole Scare. Scale. Scare? Yeah, but with Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. I want to I like the eye on this one. Yeah. Uh, this is our Hive Mind mm -hmm. uh, one, our mm -hmm. mini that we make. And this is Chris Palmer. Chris Palmer. Uh, good job. I, I like the uh, top of the tentacle there in the front. Mm -hmm. It kind of has that texture to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look like it's been walking through the grass. So it looks like it's been picking up a lot of the grass particles and stuff. And it just strikes so. me for whatever reason that they're playing D&D and, and the person on the left just rolled and then his friend mm -hmm. is like, oh. oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just did not roll a one. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. But no, the, sh the lighting on that's excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it when people incorporate their bases to stuff. Sir Forsoul. <laughs> Good job, chat. Hey. Oh, what do we got here? So this was the model that I was going to use for the graveyard story. Okay. Remember when I was talking about yeah. how the paladin got D got Ray mm -hmm. rises and yeah. and defends the the graveyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of the model I was going in my head. I was picturing that. Oh. Like his gravestone mm -hmm. and things like that. He becomes like the protector of the graveyard. Uh, who is this? This is Creative Kinku. Mm -hmm. Oh, Creative Kinku. Graveyard on Gollum. This was a Creative Kinku on Reddit. Mm -hmm. uh, who posted this? Uh, it's just a good example of using flocking uh, and things like that uh, to add to your models. I know a lot of people do this for moss beard, tree beard, our big, yeah. big tree giant, uh, and all of our a lot of stone things like that. Uh, our big cobra that we have painted here has flocking all over it, like it's been slithering through grass. Mm -hmm. So this one looks like you know it's been it's been around for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like the rust on the eyes around the eyes and the shield. The gold, the mm -hmm. little rusting effects, the kind of the, the teal the, rust. Yeah. 
Hmm. So, good job. Interesting piece. Creative yeah. kinku. But when I wrote that paladin idea, that was the picture I was going for. Oh, this one's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the color choice. This is Dave Oliver with the oh. hippocampus. Hippocampus, yeah. yeah. Dave Oliver on Facebook, uh, on our Facebook page, he posted this. Uh, super good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Patina. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't, I like didn't the Anne do one of these? Uh, she did the Bones 5 Hippocampus that comes oh, okay. in the Greek Odyssey expansion, I think. Or no, Dark Depths. Mm -hmm. Comes in the Dark Depths expansion. Uh, it's the Hippocampus. She did it as like an orange and orange and blue oh, kind of yeah. a clown, clownfishy yellow. Yeah. I um, like this colors, these colors better. Yeah. <laughs> Me personally. Yeah, just, yeah. you know, nothing this, against Anne. This is like a soft teal, mm -hmm. uh, sea foamy, sea foamy teal color. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Dr. Bob says, the Grave Golem was the mini I was the most eager to buy my first ReaperCon, only to find that it hadn't been released yet. Uh, TOS on this one, probably. Maybe. <laughs> uh, that should be fine. I, that's all right. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, no. He's going to do black bars. No, I would never. Uh, who's, who did this one while you're at it? Uh, this was... David Barry, Succubus mm. Queen. Yeah, David Barry. So it's kind of like a dark elfy Succubus Queen. Mm -hmm. um, love the color choice of this one because yeah. the, the wings are so dark mm -hmm. uh, compared to the body. But also like the garter and everything. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Twitch TOS. There you go. Twitch, don't ban us. <laughs> um, these are paint jobs. You know, if you hadn't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I like this model. Uh, my favorite part about this model is that it has rings on the top left wing. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought that was a cool idea. Yeah. Um, instead of having it in the ears and all that, things like that. You know. I like the shading on the wings. Mm -hmm. It did a good it's job It's like there, when yeah. people do minotaurs and they have like stuff like pierced in their horns and yeah. things like that. Super mm -hmm. cool. So I thought that was the same, same way for this one. Great timing on the bar, <laughs> Buglip said. <laughs> Oh, so. I think I see one of her toes, Justin. You probably need to cover that up. Oh, I got you. Don't worry, Dave. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, Twitch. Those are those are pasties. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clip it. Mm -mm -mm. All right. There you go. There you go. Dave. Now, yeah, now we're good. Do you feel yeah. more comfortable? I feel more comfortable now. Thank you. Um, also, the eyes on that one, they were all white. So, you know, when you do all white eyes, you don't have to do eyeballs. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this one is amazing. Mm -hmm. This cloak is insane. Oh, insane. wow, yeah. Uh, this is Dr. Faust. Dr. Faust's painting mm -hmm. clinic. Faust. Uh, Dr. Faust, Faust's painting clinic on YouTube. He has a big YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, he posts on our Facebook page all the time. Um, yeah, I watch his YouTube channel. Yeah. And he did a tutorial, I believe, on how to do this. This is his dragon skin cloak. That's cool. Cloak. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I love... Because this model... Um, the way that it is shaped, the cloak looks like it's like very wavy, mm -hmm. and he even accentuated it with the lighting and the highlighting and all that stuff. So, yeah, so, ooh. that's a cool idea having the dragon scale cloak. Yeah, super good. And I don't know if this one's done yet. I think this is a work in progress. But I just wanted to show it off for the cloak alone. So I don't, I don't know if he watches our Twitch channel, but good job, Doctor Faust. Mm -hmm. He should. We have a great Twitch channel. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody go at him. <laughs> Clip this and send it to him. Yeah. Good job, Dr. Faust. Yeah, yeah I, hear, I hear they're working magic over there. Yeah. The dragon skin cape. Yeah, you could probably come up with a stat block for for that cape. Some an magic item, you know. An entire party. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool to do that. So these are a lot of, some of the models that we make, some of them aren't ours. Mm -hmm. uh, the wizard, um, the, to, the, the, the far left dog. Yeah. Um, but I, I know that just, wizard, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, OSL, mm -hmm. OSL wizard is what people call him. Mm -hmm. A lot of people practice OSL with this guy. Yeah. Um, with that wizard on the far right. Um, but this one's pretty cool. I just wanted to show a whole party. We haven't really done a whole party shot. Mm -hmm. uh, they painted this up for their new upcoming D&D game. Who painted it, Justin? This was Aaron Zeddies. Aaron Zeddies? Yes. Uh, so they painted this, I believe, all of them for a party that's coming. Like, they're about to start their D&D game. Yeah. Um, my favorite aspect of this picture is that on the far left, you see the dog? Yeah. The dog has blue, glowing blue eyes. Oh. Uh, because I think it's the paladin's pet, um, is what it looks like. Uh, and it looks like it's been, like, enhanced by magical, like, maybe keen sight or something like that. Uh, I don't know, it's been cool. a few years. Has, do paladins have familiars or not? Uh, normally they have, like, war dogs, don't they, Justin? Of what? Paladins? No, oh, they normally I have, like... I have my only experience with paladins is World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, and they yeah. have like you know lions yeah. and things like that. They're, they're normally depicted as like very brave and things like that. You know the animals. Very holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, but I just thought that was very cool. I just love that idea of the glowing eyes. And everything yeah, like that. no, that's cool. It's a good thing about our hobby. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Familiar, yeah. Oh, this one's, there's a few pictures of this one, I believe. I could be wrong. There is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but this one, who painted this one? Uh, Gifford. Gifford. Gifford uh, this yeah. is uh, Josh Gifford, mm -hmm. I think is his name. I just put Gifford, I think. Uh, because he had a bunch of pictures, and so I didn't want them to start bleeding together. Together, yeah. Uh, so I just shortened it to his last name. This is Gifford from yeah. Facebook. Look at the shading on his skin with the tattoos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cool thing about this one, it's all, it's a great paint job. Um, we've been talking about it for a few weeks now, but when people do these models, mm -hmm. when they do different furs and things like that, they do like black bear, brown mm -hmm. bear, all kinds of things like that. Uh, this one, you can see it has like that kind of like caveman-y, leopard-y yeah. thing. But, oh, you're doing TOS, Justin? There you go. Um, but on some of the other pictures of this model, you can see, if you guys look closely, on the bottom left uh, of his stomach, right. he has a cut. There's a uh, belly button there too, Justin. Yeah. Oh, I but got you. you can see that cut. Uh, and so you'll, it, there's going to be some close-ups on some of the other pictures as yeah. soon as Justin starts horsing around. Yeah. Um, this reminds the first thing that I, when I saw this, the first thing it reminded me of was that very first girl where she's turning like, did I just hear you say that? Mm. And he's standing there oh, going, yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. So good. We're going with this one. Cause... Oh yeah, this one has oh. another cut on the yeah. back. So I took this oh, wow. one. Yeah, that's, that's what that cut looked like on his stomach. Mm -hmm. So this is another one and it was just a cool, it was just a cool like effect of doing a bleeding wound, mm -hmm. uh, especially because of all the, sh the the highlighting around it and everything like that. Uh, super cool. Uh, so you I should probably to cover that, that too, Justin. I see some internal organs. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and I think there might be one more. Yeah, uh, that, that is. Yeah, I think this is. Ah, it's just the backside of it. Yeah. Oh. Just to just to finish the turnaround. Yeah. Uh, he painted in that own tattoo on his right arm there, right here, along his bicep. Yeah, and he's got the uh, blood oh, on the Oh, the blood spike. on the club. I didn't yeah. actually see that the first time. Mm. Good catch. Super uh, good. Yeah, that's Super excellent. good, like, uh, wound work. Mm -hmm. so that's some of the best ones I've seen in a while. Same, looks like same guy, different... Uh... Yeah, Josh Gifford. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's a different model, um, but, you know, still an ogre. But I think he said that he wanted to paint this up to look like an orc. Uh, instead of like, this is our ogre chieftain. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, I, I've been harping on this guy uh, for a while, couple of weeks now. Mm -hmm. uh, this 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 sculpt, uh, it's just incredible. Yeah. Talking about, remember last week you showed off the one that had the red bands around his arm? Did he um, shoot, looks like he shot this with a black light because the flocking is almost like it's glowing. I th No, I think believe that's how it's come. It looks oh. supposed to look like flowers. Yeah. Um, Things like that, but his lighting work is so good. You can definitely yeah. tell that when he painted it. Definitely lighting coming from top mm -hmm. left, because of all the different highlighting on that side. Yeah, Ooh, super good. Mm -hmm. I love a good lighting work. But yeah, I love that ogre chieftain. Ah, here's another. There you angle. go. I like to show the backsides just because you know you got to see the whole model. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone likes to see a good backside. Backside, yeah, good backside <laughs> with the skulls. Uh, it's just a lot of people have been experimenting with all kinds of different skin colors on this on this yes, piece on this in particular. Piece, yes. So we've seen green and a lot of different furs yellow, and stuff. Yeah. Peach, tan. I've seen all kinds of colors on this on this model, uh, and it's just such a good model. Bobby Jackson did a great job sculpting these. Mm -hmm. Good job. Moon over Denton, <laughs> Corsair, 1961, <laughs> oh, <laughs> or junk in the trunk. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at that. Who did this one? This was Gimli? Gimli-017. Uh, yeah, Gimli mm. uh, from our Discord, actually. So, Gimli, in, if you're in chat, uh, uh, he told, this isn't super glue. He, he linked the product that he used. I can't remember what it was. It was in the Discord. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it's once it dry, or once it starts to get really dry, it starts to get really stringy. Mm. Um, uh, if you guys want to go to find that out, it's in the Discord in the finished project section. I wonder uh, if it's the epoxy resins that we've used uh, in the past. Because when like they dry, they get released. Really oh, okay. Uh, I couldn't tell what it was. He linked a. Oh, that it. That's what right there. Uh, U U H U blue. blue. Okay. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Thanks, chat. Oh man, I love having chat here. Yeah. Um, but All this knowing. <laughs> but this one's really cool because if you look at the like the base of the teeth, mm -hmm. how it looks really grimy and like on the oh like, yeah by the gums it's yeah like, you know it's a lot darker and more ruddy oh so you say good. grimy i see severe gingivitis yeah that one yeah for for us normal humans <laughs> what we consider gingivitis well it doesn't have any hands to brush its teeth 
Ah, this one. I believe I know who did this one. I, remind me. Good uh -huh. lighting effect, especially right there by is the this potion. Is this Great Paladin? Yeah. Dude, it's Great Paladin. Great Paladin yeah. art. Uh, I think he's streaming right now, actually. Uh, he's doing a fundraiser mm -hmm. um, on his channel. I don't know if he's streaming, but Great Paladin art uh, on our Reddit, Discord. Uh, he's, he has the same name everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, he was practicing some OSL on this guy. Yeah. Um, so I like the bronze cane. You mm -hmm. don't really see a lot of bronze canes, so it's a good idea. Um, just very dark model. Right, but the lighting with the potion mm -hmm. and everything, yeah. Looks like it's maybe some kind of fire potion that he's about to throw or something like that. And he yeah. has a sword, so, yeah. yeah. A fighter wizard. All-purpose yeah. wizard. Yeah, what every party needs. Oh, I believe this is also Great Paladin. Am I wrong? Uh, yes. I'm wrong. Oh, it is Great Paladin? It is Great Paladin. Oh, cool. This is our zombie dragon. I think there's multiple pictures of this mm -hmm. one as well. Um, but this is Great Paladin, again. <laughs> uh, and I've seen a lot of people being painted in our zombie dragon. Remember, I believe we showed off one a few weeks ago where the blood was kind of pulling down the statue. Mm -hmm. Um... This one has a, this one's great for wound work. Uh, speaking of the ogre, it has a bunch of open wounds yeah. and everything like that. And the wings and the way mm -hmm. that the bones on the the backside don't are not uniform anymore because uh, they don't have the supporting <laughs> structure. It's super good. I yeah. love this model. Uh, the blue eyes, like it's been reanimated somehow. Oh, Corsair said that he's recovering because he ate some reaper peppers for a yes, fundraiser. Yes, for a fundraiser. So Sounds he, like you're going to do that, right, John? Uh, maybe. When we do, if we're going to do some kind of fundraiser, I will probably do it. we got to get some people here who can tolerate some spicy stuff and do a challenge. I cannot do we gotta, we gotta do it. Wouldn't you guys like to see something interesting like that? Yeah. Dave loves spicy wings, for instance. <laughs> loves them. Uh, yeah, the bone color on this one is fantastic. Yeah, I like the spine. Yeah. That's how it fades into that Good dark. Good work. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. Oh, this, oh, is, no. our, yeah. this is our monk, Brother this Hammond. Monk. Yes. Ed. Oh, we got breaking the news! In. Breaking news! Dun dun dun! Ed Pugh uh, in the room. Just came in. Uh, just this, came in. This was painted by GSD Paints. Uh, this was in our story last week that we came up with our story. This mm -hmm. is the Brother Hammond. Yeah. Uh, is this piece? Uh, this was the monk before he turned into the Death Monk uh, earlier with the PDF for the stat block. Yeah, I like so. the paint job on that one. A lot of good colors, a lot of good use of the browns and whatnot, but uh, yeah, the shading, yeah. everything, yeah. This was an old model that got re-sculpted into Bones Black, oh. um, I found out a long time ago. But it's new now in Bones Black, it's amazing. We'll this just there. in, breaking news. Breaking news. Yeah. Try them out. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Are they all the same? Yeah. This okay. Yeah. So we have a brick, we have a brick of these new bad boys here. That come, the shakers come together. And you can separate them. Mm -hmm. And then inside... I put them on the, uh, yeah, the mini cam. Yeah, the QVC cam. All right. And inside, you have... Now, are they sealed? Are the bags, the yeah, bags the, are the, sealed. The, the bags are sealed. Yeah. So, so inside is one of the high rollers. Yeah. Open the door. This is our, these are our new yeah. dice. They just came in. They just got delivered right in the middle of the show. All right. So... These are, I can't remember what the, Collins was saying the type of dice is, but uh, this is the one that has the glitter in it, the yeah. sparkly Look glitter. The bottom, it'll tell you on the tag on the bottom. Lucky. Uh, lucky. Mm. This is Lucky Starlight Glitter, is what this is. Nice. And like you said, we've been showing these off for a while, but the things stack, mm -hmm. so now you can use them. Yep. You can transport them. Plus, you know, a lot of people like to use their stuff to paint stuff, so you can put some blue tacky on there, <laughs> plop a mod on there, use them go to town. Yeah. If you want to play Yahtzee. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not going to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to open the little black baggie. So. Man, ain't nobody stealing these. <laughs> so there's a little black, uh, non-see-through black baggie that comes inside there. And one, it comes with there a random dungeon, do dungeon dice monster. So you can see there. Oh, wow, it's so bright on the screen. That, that is very translucent yellow, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So it comes with a random one. Mm -hmm. uh, so they this all is the 12-sider. Looks like the 12-sider wizard. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 12 sider wizard. Man, that is it's a lot so of It's so bright on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to dealing with like primed gray minis. There we go. There you yeah, go. Sh it shade a little, it a little bit, John. There you go. There we go. There you go. It's so well, very cool. So you'll get a random one of those every yeah. time you order one of these little paint shakers. So, so, roll a die. I got a 12. You got a 12 on the D20? I got a 12 on a D20. Let's see what I get. I'm curious, now that you said John it. John rolls a 20 oh, right shit. here, guys. Yeah. Uh, he has to eat the Carolina Reaper next stream. Oh, on, no. On stream. Uh -oh. In front of everybody. 
11. Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! That means Dave Dave gets to do it. He won. <laughs> Hit me. Well, very Hit, cool. Go over 21. So, yeah, we finally got the dungeon dice in. Yeah, we'll probably talk more about that sometime next week or uh, whenever they do go live and all that stuff. We'll, you know, check our socials. It'll be everywhere. But I know Ron likes to talk about these on Thursday nights. So, there you go. Yeah. Very I'm cool. jinking the dice. So, whoever opens, whoever gets the one that I rolled, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. Well, man, that was one tough bag to open with a pin, let me tell you. Hey, that's a good <laughs> color name, V.O. Screaming hmm. Yellow. Yeah. Screaming that Yellow. That is. I'll make a note of that one. Yeah, Screaming Yellow. Yeah, More Dave, paint jobs. Dave, if I had had the, uh, the SpongeBob splash screen, I'd have put it up. <laughs> the sound bite. I don't know what uh, you're talking Are we getting close on time? What, what should we do here? It's we actually, are, we're at We're actually going over. Oh. We are, so... Man, we have so much stuff to we show We have off. so many paint jobs. Yeah. Not, you know what? I would rather have but more I, stuff. I don't see yeah, the dancing but, Ron in the hallway, so we will continue. Yeah. Well, uh, then, uh, oh, we got to take it down. You guys, va yeah, you guys vamp real quick. I'm going to go see if What's Ron going on? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk away. Do not burn anything down. We won't. Also, we're at 25 gifted subs currently. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say if you guys want to make a push towards our big, big giveaway, mm -hmm. Friday shows are a good way to do it because then we obviously match the subs. And we're at, as of right now, 1,100 subs. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Wow, uh, yes, 1,100. Fletcher Petros. What's, what's the giveaway? 400 more subs. It's 400 15, more 1,500 subs. subs. Come on. Yeah. We got some giveaways. We just got to get 400 more subs. And we're matching what's happening today, so... What are, we, what are we having? Uh, how many? Do, do you know how many we have today? We have 25, 25. so far. 25 so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so. Uh, someone asked oh, uh, thank you, Ground about Zero. the giveaways, uh, yeah. the gift cards giveaways from last week. Uh, yeah. He's going to finish them up today. Um, so stay tuned. Justin just took all the money for himself. Mm -hmm. So if you guys, here, I'll put the Discord in the chat. If you guys are curious, we're almost at 700 members, and there's a, always a constant of 200 people on there oh. roughly. Uh, so get it yeah. on there. Lord Farius, uh, I think if I'm pronouncing it correctly, wants a joke. Ron. Yeah. Joke. 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 joke, joke. joke. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you know when a joke becomes a dad joke? It's apparent. When it becomes apparent. <laughs> there you go. I got you guys. All right, I got a knock, right, knock a joke. You ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Y'all start. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ah, oh, see? There's oh. Joke. Okay. <laughs> God dang it. It got me. All right. <laughs> Don't let me. I got my jokes archived over here. I can pull them out. Oh, no. <laughs> um, maybe that, we'll have a joke section. For, oh, we do. We have a memes and funny page on our Discord. So if you guys ever have any memes. Oh. Oh. Justin, did I send you a picture of me? No. With the other guy? Dang it. Oh, wait. I did. Uh, where did I see that? No, you didn't send it to me. It's in Discord. Uh, yes, but I sent it to you. Oh. I thought. Nope, you did not. VO3318 okay. says that I won that joke off right there. So uh, I'm taking the victory. I'm finding it right now. Don't worry. Oh, thank you, thank uh, you Lania. Lania. Um, I'm finding it. Trust me. Found it. I'm emailing it. I'm emailing it right now. Okay. He's emailing it. All right. Justin's going to find it, and then we're going to show it off, and then we're going to go down for about, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, because we have to talk about what Al Al wants to know if you're doing the running man challenge. But I thought you already did that. I already did. Now, did you, you posted that. I posted it. Yeah. Uh, so it's on our Discord. It's yeah. on our Facebook. It's on our Twitter. I posted the video. Uh, if you go find our official post from the Reaper Miniatures mm -hmm. account, yeah. talking about the Ronning Man challenge, um, go find it, and I posted it on there. So, yeah. You're, you're and, welcome, Wingnut. And I'm still just friends with Phil Collins only. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I like one song that he uh, does. Thank so, you for featuring my hippocampus. You're welcome, Wingnut. Yeah. Uh, you're awesome. It was, it was great. And it was great. Bug Lips likes your super excited face. It was amazing. Oh, so there you go. I gave a tour this week. Yeah? Uh, and... <laughs> Who uh, is this? He, he wanted a picture. Yeah. Um, he's from uh, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. He came by and took a tour. I think his name was Doug. Uh, and we wanted to, he wanted to take a picture, so I was like, oh, let's go, take, let's go outside and take a picture underneath the sign. Sign, yeah. So, but somebody shrank the, the picture down, and they said a miniature comparison. 25-millimeter <laughs> to 32-millimeter, because he's is, so much taller than me. That is great, yeah. So, this is the background on my computer at home and here. Uh, <laughs> and it's the background on my phone, because I thought it was super funny. Uh, Justin, right. what is it when we meet the sub challenge? What are we giving away? We're going to be giving away the top 100 um, bones? bones and the 50 DHL. And the, all the, the metal giveaway. DHL. Correct. Top 50 To one DHL. person. To one person. Yeah. 
So there you go. And that's, then as long as we maintain 1,500 subs, we can do that. Every... We, we talked about once a quarter, right? Yeah. Or no, no, no. <laughs> no, was once, it once a, month. a month. Once a month. It was once a month, and then the once a quarter was like another giant paint giveaway if we reached 2,000. So right. So we kept that. Let's just try and make the 1,500 sure. for now. But, you know, people like <laughs> that. Paints, so. That is awesome. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to get a good picture for Treasure Alma, like, to make like an emote out of. It'd be really funny. Um, but yeah, th super funny. So if you guys ever take a tour, mm -hmm. ask for a picture, maybe we'll start like um, collecting pictures or something. Yeah, you know, for the, no, that, for the that'd tours. be great. So, yeah. And then someone wants to order the John Mini. So you haven't got a Mini yet. Uh, yeah, maybe it'll be like a dwarf or like a gnome or something. Um, to, so it can be to scale. Um, so that'd be really funny. An entertainer. Maybe I'll sculpt it myself. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that. No, I'm just kidding. We have too much stuff to show off. We do. Why don't we save that till next Friday? Okay. Yeah, the doubloon? Yeah, yes. we'll get yeah. a better video of it. Yeah. Bingo, actually. I like that idea. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so you get, yeah. John well, has a lot of hidden talents that he hasn't shown you and re uh, shown <laughs> Reaper Land yet. That is very true. <laughs> uh, so thanks, guys. Right. I think we're about to go down. Yeah. I think yes, we're, we're going to go down. I'm not going to raid anyone because we're going to be right back up in like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah so, so no tuned. raid. So if you guys. You'll be losing me and gaining Ron. Eh. Yeah, um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, so stay tuned. We'll be back with the uh, Bones 5 Kickstarter update. So stay tuned if you guys are really curious about that. And go get all your friends. Go tell all your re Reaper people. And how tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'7". Five, 5'6". Seven, five, there you go, Chris. Are you? In that range. 5'6", yeah. 5'7". Five, five, oh, okay. Hmm? That's what it says on my driver's license. Well, oh. there, doesn't lie. Right? <laughs> um, so yeah. All right. So see you next week, Reaper Land. Have a good week. Stay, mm -hmm. uh, stay warm. Feels and, good. And... Uh, I'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll be back. See you guys in a few minutes. All right.